with a straight spine. Awareness to the breath. So today we will start with Omkar, the unity sound together. And after that, we'll carry on. So either you're sitting in cross-legged, in Sukhasan, let me make myself comfortable, allowing the knees to drop onto either side. The gravity, the gravity of the Mother Earth, allowing you to drop further away from your body. You may sit in Jin Mudra or wherever you're comfortable. Take the awareness to your abdominal area. And then as you exhale, Gently start lifting all the way up. Feel the lift. Keep lifting. Relax your shoulders. And then all the way up. All the way up. Good. Excellent. The whole body is relaxed. And then a breath in through the nose. Inhale for one, two, three, and then exhale out completely. Another breath in through the nose for one, two, three, and also let it exhale out completely, picking up any stiffness in your body. On the third breath, let's start with the Omka. So inhale fully. Oh. Good. Another breath in through the nose. Oh. Join your palms together and we will start with Ganesh Mantra. We'll do the Ganesh Mantra 11 times. So again, inhale and you may join me. Om Gam Ganapate Namaha 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 Om Gam Ganapate Namaha. And then on the next breath, let us all bow down. Bow down to that higher self within you as you exhale. And on the breath in, again, come back. Come back. Come back to center yourself. Okay. The awareness is to the breath. Let us move into the breathing, pranayam, the life force in your body. So, today we will the pran the the pranayam we're going to do is in section of four. So you breathe in for four, and then you exhale for four. 
So inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold the breath and exhale for four. So exhale, 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 exhale. Another round in through the nose for one, two, three, four. Hold, exhale, four, three, two, one. Again, same breath, inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale out for one, two, three, four. We're going to do two rounds in the same way. So inhale, exhale, inhale deeply, hold on, hold on, and then exhale. As you exhale, the navel goes in, the core at your abdomen goes in. When you're inhaling, you expand your lungs. So the stomach pushes out, you hold that for a second. And when you exhale, gently, the lungs empties. When they're fully empty, the navel goes in. Tightening the core at your stomach area. Let's do two more rounds in the count of four. So breath in for one, two, three, four. Hold, exhale, four, three, two, one. One more time. Inhale. Hold, exhale. Good. Okay. Allow your breath to come back to its normal self and we will do the forceful exhalation. So breath in, pause there for a second and start exhaling. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Carry on, carry on. So when you're exhaling, the navel goes in tightening the core at your abdomen. When you inhale, you release those muscles. So regularly, regularly practicing this Kapal Bhati. You'll find a lot of difference in yourself, your inner self, you'll be able to concentrate longer. There are hundreds and hundreds benefit to doing this Kapal Bhati. Okay, come back to your normal breath. It helps you to increase the capacity of your lungs. So again, you have centered yourself, shoulders are relaxed. Perfect. Let's move on to the second breath. So both hands, one on top of the other goes onto your navel. Good. Just observe, you're only observing. Both the hands are on your stomach. Again, we are going to do Kapal Bhati. So here, we are concentrating on abdominal muscles. The rest of the body is comfortable. So breathe in through the nose, inhale fully. Feel the hands moving away from the abdomen. And then pause there and exhale, 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 exhale. Two, 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 two. two. Two more and relax, relax. So when you were exhaling, you didn't have to remind yourself to breathe in. Your body will nat naturally breathe in. So let's move to the second section of Kapal Bhati. So from here, if you can place both hands on the sides of your ribs. So the sides of your ribs, both the hands are resting. Allow the shoulders to relax. And there's no tension on your elbows. Allow the hands to get used to by the side of your rib cage. Okay. Let's breathe in from the nose, fill up for four. 
and then exhale out completely. Again, carry on that breath. So when you're inhaling, can you feel the expansion in your lungs? Good. And then as you exhale, emptying the lungs, slowly releasing that pressure on your ribcage. Okay, we're going to do four rounds in the same way. Good, inhale fully. And then exhale for one. Now do Kapalbhati. Inhale, fill up. And then. Carry on, carry on for another few rounds. So as you're exhaling, the stomach goes in. And then finally, you will find the rib cage slowly squeezing in. Carry on for another two rounds. And then come back. Come back, come back, relax. Excellent. Allow both the hands to rest. One last one. This time, both the hands, the fingertips go onto your collarbones. So, here you're going to breathe in deeply. Feel. Feel up to the rim of your body, up to the thyroid glands, up to the base of your neck. Okay. So, allow the breath to come in, fill up. Inhale. Breath up to the collarbones. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and then. Slowly exhale out, the stomach goes in, slowly, the lungs are emptying and the hands go slightly further down. Let's practice one more time. So inhale fully, fully through the nose breathing. Lengthen your spine, lungs are full, hold for a second and then exhale, exhale, abdomen goes in, emptying the lung. And gently, 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 the hand slightly pushes down. Now we're going to do Kapalbhati here again. So breathe in fully through the nose, inhale. Hold for a second and start the Kapalbhati. And relax, let go. Allow both the hands, one on top of the other, hands to release down onto your legs. Spare a few seconds here, observing. Observing what changes has taken in your inner self. How you're feeling at the moment? Are you energized? Yes, the breath, the forceful exhalation, it energizes yourself. It creates more energy in your body. Perfect. And then from here, slowly raise your arms all the way up to the head and the palms facing up to the ceiling. The palms are looking at the ceiling, both the arms are leveled. Perfect. Keep stretching, relax the shoulders down your back. Stay there until you feel tingling in the palms. Feel that energy in your palms. Good. Keep stretching. Excellent. And then gently bend both the elbows and then allow both the palms to face each other. Try and bring the hands together. You will find the energy between both your hands. There is an imaginary ball that you're holding, the energy ball. There is no other movement in your body. You're still holding that energy ball in your hands. And it is shaped round a ball. Good. From here, gently. Push that ball away from your heart. And then feel the ball. May roll over to one side 
and then you may roll over to the other side keep stretching your arm yes again feel the ball feel that energy between your hands good and then from here keep stretching your arms keep holding the ball in your hands and then you're going to move the ball towards the right side so slowly you are focusing on that energy ball inhale and don't move your eyes away from that ball allow the ball to roll all the way to the right side nothing else moves it's the arms holding hands holding the ball moving and then bring it back to the center bring it back to the center and then as you exhale take that ball over to the left side great bring the ball back to the center bring it to the heart center excellent and you feel the energy between both your hands that is that energy ball now we're going to release that energy ball into the universe so inhale and roll it up excellent <laughs> and then gently place both hands on your knees bring the knees to your heart center and then hug the knees hug your knees again the abdomen abdomen is squeezed in knees are closer to your chest giving a further lift to the spine drop the shoulders down your back and no other movement look straight ahead focus your eyes looking straight ahead for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 and 1 beautiful excellent perfect and then from here bring the knees and the feet together again one more squeeze see the both the knees and the feet are joined together now now from here you're going to drop the knees to the right side so inhale press both the palms on the floor again lengthen the upper body as you exhale 1 2 3 4 the knees rotate over to the right side excellent inhale the feet don't move hands don't move it's only the knees breath in center yourself perfect knees and the feet are glued together roll it over to the other side We're going to go further so better be prepared inhale to the center one more time exhale good right from here the top knee the left knee again allow the left knee to rest in the arches of your right foot you can have both hands adjust yourself correct keep both the knees grounded onto the floor and then the right arm comes to the side of your body lifting creating more length in your body and then in head make a circle with your left arm for one stretch it up great sweep the floor two great excellent center yourself then from here allow the left hand to go into your thigh so that the right the left knee doesn't move up now you are aiming to stretch stretch the right arm away all the way wherever at it be all the way excellent perfect and finally when you reach your maximum you can stretch the other arm up and then gently gently allow the right shoulder to reach the floor and join your palms together perfect so the upper body is stretched away from your hips your awareness is to the breath stay there for one more second and then you're going to come up so stretch the top arm which is the left arm 
Allow it to rest on the side of your body. Then from here, gently bend. Bend the right elbow, ground it down, and push the upper body away. Center yourself. Perfect. Okay, again, both hands onto the floor. Gently, the feet comes together and the knee. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze. Good. One more second. Allowing your body to center itself. Then from here, you may drop the knees over to the other side, the left side. The knees are grounded and adjust yourself. A breath or two. Excellent. And then ground both your palms down. Lift the right knee and place the knee in the arches of your left foot. Let me move back so at least you can see. Adjust yourself. Stay here for a second or two. Allow the upper body to lengthen all the way up. Good. Raising the left arm, ground the palm down. Amazing. Okay. Slowly, gently, stretch. Sweep that arm away. Gently, be gentle to yourself. If you do have any condition, then allow your body to go where you are comfortable. Yes, you may bend the elbow. Stage one, you can stay here. But if you still want to go further, you may stretch it further. Oh, you're stretching the left arm and then raise the right arm up. And then join the palms together. Oh, great. A oh, great let go stretch from the hips to your palms. Now deep breath in and a deep breath out. You're coming out of the posture. So allow the right arm, which is the top arm, to release down on your back. Bend the left elbow and slowly elbows on the floor. Allow the upper body to move away and bring both the hands closer to your body. From there, join. Join your soles of the feet together and give it a good bounce. So, knees, knees up and down, bounce your knees and then pull the shoulders down your back. Keep going, keep going, the butterfly. Good, Balakrishna. So, butterfly, flapping the wings. Such a beautiful day, so you must have, maybe you have seen butterflies flying around. Okay, excellent. And then from here, slowly have your feet. Let me do it this way so you can see me. The feet are wider than hip width distance. Both your feet are grounded. Perfect. And then place both the hands behind you. Both the hands behind you. Ground your feet down. Inhale. Lengthen the upper body. Good. And then lift the lower back off the floor. Beautiful. Keep lifting. Keep lifting. Into the tabletop. And then finally, finally allow the head to relax. Relax your shoulders. Keep lifting your hips up. The feet are firm onto the floor. Brilliant. Stay here. And then coming out of the posture, slowly square your head to the middle. Don't allow the spine to release as yet. Feel the weight has been lifted. The weight is on your palms and on your feet. Good, excellent. And then gently, gently, gently exhale. Hips go down. Perfect. Come back to the center. Lifting the upper body away. And we're going to go into the second stage, which is Swan Kriya. So this time, 
stretch your legs away. Both your legs are absolutely straight. Adjust yourself. Before we go into that full posture, crown both the palms down by the side of your body and then interlace the hands and then slowly allow, allow the upper body to stretch the arms up and over. Oh, you may exhale up through the mouth. Good. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and stay. Preparing your shoulders to carry the weight of your body. Okay, come back. Come back, come back, come back to the center. And this time, plant both your palms down at least six inches. The choice is yours. You may have fingertips pointing towards your body or the other way. That's absolutely fine. Focus onto the toes. Stretch the toes away. Ground the palms. Inhale. Lift the hips all the way up. There should be a straight line from the crown of your head to the toes. Keep lifting. Stay. Ten, nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, gently, gently, gently. Allow the hips to release. Perfect. And then bring both your arms forward. If there is any discomfort in your shoulders, then cross your uh, elbows and hug. Pull the shoulders down. Inhale up. Exhale <coughs> down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Great. Excellent. And you can massage. You can massage the upper arms. Good. And then from here, while you are massaging your arms, we will go into another posture. So make sure you have squeezed. You have squeezed your shoulders. You have squeezed your arms. Good. Prepare. Prepare them. Excellent. And then we are going to go into Gav Mukh Asan. So, <clears throat> place, uh, place both feet onto the left side and the knees are towards your right side. Grab your left ankle and then slowly bring it all the way around the bottom knee. Ground that palm down. Hug that knee, the left knee, closer to your chest. Feel the lift in your upper body, relaxing your shoulders down. Now, the second stage to go into Gaumukhasan. First, we will concentrate on the lower part of your body. And then from here, grab both your feet slowly. Shift the weight from one side to the other. What are we aiming here for? We are trying to get one knee on top of the other, so in your own way. See that both your knees are leveled. Both the feet are leveled, the soles of the feet are pointing up to the ceiling. Relax your shoulders. Good. Excellent. There's a perfect, perfect alignment of your knees, but sometimes it is difficult. It is difficult to get this posture. You, know, you need not to worry. Whatever your body allows you to, it is perfect for you. Okay. Now place both hands on soles of your feet. And you're going to lift your bottoms off the floor. So press the palm onto the soles of your feet. Lift the hips up. Center it. Oh, perfect. Good. Wonderful. And then from here, keep stretching your arms, shoulder length. Bend the elbows, bend the elbows. Palm facing forward. We are ready with both your legs. Now it's time for the arms. From here, left elbow onto the right elbow, and if you can join your palms 
Excellent. Perfect. And then focus on to your shoulders. Bring the shoulders closer to the ears and then drop it down. Good. Squeeze the elbows in your heart center. Good. So there is space between your shoulder blades and you're pulling the shoulders down. Feel. Feel the strength in your shoulders. Now going into full Galmukha Asan is inhale, fill up deeply, move the elbows away and then gently drop your head back. Lift the arms, lift the elbows up to the ceiling and stay. Relax your shoulders. Good. Into Galmukha Asan and slowly center yourself. Gently come back, come back. Elbows come back to the chest. And then if you're able to still have your hands together, slowly fold forward. Slowly folding forward, relax your abdominal muscles. Allow the forehead to release further down and stay here. Stay here, a few more breaths. And then slowly come back, come back, come back, come back. Release both your arms and then you shake your arms. And in this comfort in your elbows, in your shoulders, allow it to release, you can rotate. Your feet are so good, your legs are so good, they haven't moved yet. Perfect, excellent. Come back, come back, come back to the center. And then we're going to move over to the other side. So place both the palms on the floor. Gently move the knees up and unwind. Unwind, but this time the right knee has come onto the top. The left knee is at the bottom. Perfect. Let those knees to experience whatever position they are in for a second or two. And then gently you move your feet closer if you want to, or you can move it away. And place both your palms onto the soles of your feet. Inhale, lift the hips up and center it. Perfect, center it. Allow your feet, you can massage the soles of your feet. Any discomfort in your toes, by turning around, allow it to massage, squeezing all the toes from the tip up to the roots of your toes. Okay, brilliant. Release both your arms and bend the elbows. Excellent. The left elbow over your right, and then join the palms together. Adjust yourself. See that there is length, length in your upper body. The abdomen is squeezed in. Can you feel the shoulders dropping down? There is length in your shoulders. So inhale, bring the shoulders closer to the ears and drop them down. Good, excellent. Bring the elbows closer to your heart. One more second. And then from here, gently lift the elbows away and then drop your head back. Awareness back to the shoulders. Draw your shoulders down for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Slowly come back. Gently take your time. Allow the elbows to rest on your thighs. And finally, the forehead is resting on your palms. Relax, recover, and come up. Slowly come up. Unwind your elbows, and then gently. Both feet onto the floor, stretching one leg away, and stretch the other leg away. Palms onto the sides of your body. And one, one more fold onto the straight legs. 
Inhale, stretch your arms forward. So now the legs and the arms are level. They're parallel to each other. On the next breath, you will stretch the upper body up and forward. Inhale, relax the shoulders, feel that length in the upper body. As you exhale, stretch forward. Five, four, three, two, one. And then finally, slowly release the upper body. The forehead towards your shin and draw the shoulders down. Grab wherever your hands reach. It may be your ankles or it may be your feet. Let it be. Go back to your breath. You're going to stay here a little bit longer. So count 10, 9, 8. Keep going further. 7, breathe. 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, again, stretch your arms, move the arms away from the shoulders and all the way up. And then relax, relax. <clears throat> Gently bend both your knees and then come up standing. So in your own way, whichever way you're comfortable, come up standing at the middle of your mat. Center yourself. Both your feet are grounded. Arms are closer to your body. Feet are grounded. You may lift all the toes off the floor. You can wriggle. You can wriggle the toes and then place the little second, third, fourth, fifth, the big toe reaches the floor. Good. Lift the energy up to your hips, up to the shoulders. Arms are slightly away. And as you exhale, drop the shoulders down. And then the palms facing forward. Another breath in. Keep the lift in the whole of your body. Palms are facing forward. Inhale. Stretch your arms to either side. Ooh. Allow the little fingers to stretch. Can you feel the squeeze in your thighs? The feet, get them together and squeeze. Squeeze the inside of your thighs. Next breath out. The hands come back to the center. Another breath in and roll your hands back. Yes, maybe both your hands, both the palms are facing the side wall. Feel the squeeze in the thighs. Brilliant. And then relax. Okay, place both hands onto your hips. Great. Then from here, slowly, in your own way, walk your feet wide apart. Adjust your feet. See that both your feet are parallel, toes in and heels up. Allow both the arms to rest by the side of your thighs. Lift the energy up, lift the kneecaps, lift the thighs, allow the arms to be by the side of your body. Awareness goes to the Udhyana Ban. So, press your feet further down, lift the energy up, and squeeze the abdomen. Keep, keep the navel tight. Don't allow that area to release. Good. And then feel the length from the hips up to the shoulders. Make fist with both your hands. And then lengthen the arms. Three. Two fists are still together. Lengthen. So the arms and the legs are strong. Breathe in. As you exhale, stretch your arms shoulder length. Keep your arms focused. Great. Good. And then into the side stretch. Dropping the left arm, raise the top arm, press the feet down. Good. Good. If you want to take that arm up and over, beautiful. See, the other arm is swinging. 
Don't collapse on that side. Can you feel a great stretch on the left side of your body? Good. And then from here, soften both your knees. Inhale, come forward, come forward, come forward. If you can hold your right ankle. Good. And then breath in, you're going to come up. Press the feet down, inhale. Lift the left arm all the way up. Yes, back to where you are. One more time, inhale. If you can grab your right ankle. Perfect, perfect. Keep pressing both the feet down, the feet are grounded. And breath in, slowly come back. Change over. Stretch before you go forward. Oh, I want everyone to feel the stretch from the side of the right foot traveling all the way up. And then stretching your arm. Amazing. Stay. Breathe into that stretch. The other arm is hanging. You're not collapsing on that side. Can you feel? your abdominal area. You have stretch your spine and then stretch it over to the other side. Okay, send to yourself. Allow the right arm to relax. Now, the awareness goes to the knees. Soften your knees. Inhale, right arm comes up and then exhale, fold forward and see if you can grab your left ankle. Allow the upper body to fold. Slowly allow the upper body to fold forward. Ground both your feet down. The outside of your feet are firm onto the floor. Good. Both your knees are soft. You're coming up so slowly. Lift the right arm. Allow your body to come up. Good. Stay here. Second time, stretch the right arm as you exhale, fold forward. And see if you can grab your left ankle. Hold the left ankle and then go further if your body takes you to. Now the crown of the head is facing the floor. There is a stretch in the whole of your spine. Good. Okay, gently. Soften or bend your knees, you're coming away. So up for three, two, one, stretch your arms. Perfect. And then hands go back. Allow both the hands again to go onto your hips. From here, you can either soften your knees, jump your feet together if you're able to, or you can walk your feet. So bend your knees and jump your feet together. Excellent. Perfect. Go to the bottom end of your mat. Feet grounded. Hands back on your hips. Breath in. If you can bring your right foot forward. Let me face this side. So, from here, bring your right foot forward. The right foot forward. See that both your feet are grounded. Perfect. So the right toes are pointing away. There is weight on the outside of your back foot. Lift both the kneecaps. Hands are on your hips. So slowly, as you exhale, roll your upper body towards the right straight leg. Good. Excellent. Another breath or two. And then start bending the right knee. Good. And then open your arms and the upper body faces forward. You ended up in warrior two. Good. From here, look at the middle finger of your front arm, which is the right arm. Inhale. As you exhale, see that front knee is bent, slowly drop the right hand all the way down onto the floor. 
Good. Raise the top palm up, palm facing forward. And then you're going to roll the top arm around your waist and grab your thigh. Look up at the ceiling. Good. Perfect. One more breath. Keep pressing the outer edges of the back leg onto the floor because that is the master. Okay. From here, if you don't want to go any further, you can slowly come up. But if you aim to go further, bend the right elbow, come all the way. And then join both your palms from behind. Oh, you may be looking up at the ceiling, but the palms are together. The front knee, the right knee is bent. That is how you're able to come forward and then wrap your arm around. Excellent. Okay, coming out of this posture, release both your hands. The palm come down on inside of that right foot. Oh. And raise the top arm back to where we were. Straighten the front knee. And slowly rise up for three, two, and one. Oh. Relax your knees. Ground your feet. Good. Let's move over to the other side. So in your own way, roll your feet so you end up to the other side. So the front leg is your left leg. The back leg is your right leg. Ground your feet. Lift the energy up. Perfect. Excellent. And then from here, Slowly stretch your arms and back onto the hips and square your hips to the front, to the front leg. Good. On the breath out, start bending your left knee. Check that the left knee is in line with your heel. Perfect. One more breath. Excellent. And then from here, slowly face the upper body forward and stretch your arm. A perfect, a perfect warrior. We're all warriors here. Good. Okay. Bend your left elbow, place it on your thigh and raise the top arm on, palm facing forward. Feel the length in the whole of the right side of the body. Okay, if you want to take that arm around your waist, good, okay. And then look at the ceiling. Perfect. And then again, look at the floor. The front knee is 90 degrees. Slide the left hand down. The left knee is bent. The back leg is stretched. And then one more time. Yes, raise that arm up and over. Good. Breathe. Excellent. And then you can relax that arm again around your waist. If you don't want to carry on with the second posture, you can stay here for a, for a while and come out of the posture. For the rest of us, see that the front knee is bent. Slowly come forward, bend the left elbow and see if you can join your palms and look up at the ceiling. Oh, yes, let it go. Strong breath, relax, relax. Again, ground the palm down, slowly come back and then straighten your front knee and come out of the posture. Press the feet down, ground your feet, stretch the arms, good. Again, hands go back onto your hips. Slowly both feet facing forward, and you can either jump your feet together or walk your feet. If you want to jump your feet, bend the knee. Release the pressure on your knees, and one, 
two, and three. Good. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, let's go on to our balances. Just a quick balance. So allow both your feet to relax, the legs, the thighs, relax. Okay, the weight goes on your right side. Bend the left knee in your own way. If you need a prop or if you need a chair, yes, that's a perfect way. Or else have the hand on your right head in your own time. Bring that foot up, balance. And then raise the arms up. Breathe. Come halfway, breathe. Hands on your hips. You may stretch, left leg away. Wow. And then open the leg, drop it down. Perfect. And then from here, bring that foot back. So this time, the left leg is going to be the master. <clears throat> when you're ready, slowly grab the ankle, place it in your thigh. Open the knee outwards. When you have the balance, raise your arms up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands on your hips. Stay longer if you want to. Good. And then stretch that leg forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Open it to the side. <laughs> Allow it to release. Oh, excellent, excellent. I don't know where the time goes. So from here, <clears throat> if you can come to the top end of your mat and then gently sit down. And <clears throat> we will go into shoulder stand. If you don't do shoulder stand, it is fine. You can raise your legs up, but if you are ready, and if you have practiced your shoulder stand, then we'll slowly go into shoulder stand. If you don't want to go into shoulder stand, you can lie down and raise your legs up and do all whatever your body likes you to do. Okay, going into shoulder stand, hold the knees from underneath, protect your spine, inhale, Raise the upper body and then roll back. One, come up all the way. Two, up. The last one, lift the legs into shoulder stand. <sighs> when you're in shoulder stand, join your feet together, stretch your toes. See that you never move your neck. You never move your head, sorry. But people who are not doing shoulder stand, you have your arms closer to your body and lifted both your legs up. <clears throat> Good, excellent. And then from here, bend, join the knees, bend the knees and bring the knees into your forehead. Ooh, excellent. Drop the knees on your forehead. Beautiful. And then inhale. Go back into shoulder stand, Sarvang Asan. Another few deep breaths here. And then you're going to go into Halasana. So in your own way, stretch both the legs up and over your head. All the way, gently. Good, all the way. If the toes reach the floor, then stretch your legs wide apart so that it's easier for you to breathe. If you're familiar to all the versions in shoulder stand, then you can release your arms away, joining the palms together. Otherwise, keep holding your back. Hmm. Good, a few deep breaths here. 
all the inversions are amazing. And then from here, bend your knees and join the soles of the feet together. Good. Drop the heels further down in your body. The toes are pointing up to the ceiling. Good. Breathe as much as you can. And then join your knees together. Keep supporting your back. And you're coming out of the posture. Gently release the top back, middle back, lower back, and drop your feet down. Keep the feet on the floor, and the knees are bent. And then from here, keep the knees together and walk your feet away. So knees are joined, the thighs are joined, but the feet are outwards. Just surrender, relax. See that both your feet are grounded. The knees are bent, the knees are joined together. Now press the soles of the feet down onto the floor. Don't allow your knees to separate. We're going to lift the spine off from here. So both the palms are down onto the floor and the elbows are on the floor. Breath in, squeeze the thighs, squeeze the knees together and lift. Lift, gently lift. Adjust your feet if you need to. Lift the spine off the floor, good. Till the thighs are together, knees are together, and you're pushing the knees away from your body. Breathe. There is strength in your thighs. Perfect. And gently roll the top back down, middle back, and the lower back. Excellent. From here, you may separate your knees and then slide your legs away. Other leg away. Drop your feet and drop your arms by the side of your body, palms facing up. Allow your shoulders to relax. Allow your neck to relax. Allow the back of your head, the crown of your head, and the face to relax completely. Both your arms are rested, the chest, and the hips are completely relaxed. A deep breath in through the nose, and you exhale, relax your thighs. Another breath in. Exhale, relax your calves. One more breath in. And exhale, relaxing the feet. Allow the whole body to relax. And then go back to your breath. A deep breath in through the nose, and then you're going to exhale out through the mouth. So inhale, nose, open the mouth. <sighs> Deeper exhalation. Inhale again, fill up. <sighs> When your exhalation gets deeper, you will feel tingling in your body. So one last one. Inhale through the nose, fill up. Open the mouth and relax. Relax completely. The calves are relaxed. The longest muscle.
whole body has been energized. Every muscle in your body is warmed up. So completely relax. On the next breath, if you can bring the awareness back to yourself and then you may roll your head if you feel like rolling it from side to side and then joining your feet together. Another breath in, raise the arms up and over your head, all the exhale. Keep both the palms onto the floor, another deep breath in. The middle part of your spine is off the floor. Feel up. That's a great stretch in your body. And then gently bring the arms back. Hug the knees to the chest. You may rock the knees from side to side. And then finally, you may roll over to the right side of your body into recovery. Recover. Allow your body to recover, weakening yourself. And then gently support yourself. Come up seated in Sukhasana. With your palms together, hands to your heart center, and we'll conclude the yoga session with a short Thank you. Breath in. Om Asatoma Tadgamaya Tamasoma Jyoti Gamaya Mrutyoma Amrutang Gamaya Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Gently on the breath out. Namaste. Thank you very much. You may bow down. You may rub your palms together. And then cover your eyes over with your palms. Gently, gently massage your face. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.